This is your late night DJ, Sonic the Hedgehog here, just telling you to always remember Chip and don't suck pink hedgehog clip. It's not no. Exactly. If you've noticed, Actually, during eight. the episodes, DK and Diddy have switched around magically. It's a wonder. Has Amy ever done a spin dash? Yeah. But really? Yes. Was it magical? No. Did it suck? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to roll. Basically, suck like that, right? Yep. Cool. So yeah, this is why this level's a, a real headache. If you're watching this, oh, Jesus. yeah. If you're watching this and it's nighttime, I apologize. So. Well, it's not even that. It's the fact that like if you're watching this and. Well, first off, we should just like let people know if you have epilepsy, or something like, or you know anything that's like that. We're very sorry. Try to refrain from watching this. No, continue to watch it. It's fun. <laughs> no, do, do you know what epilepsy is? Yeah, but it's still fun. It's not fun when you have a seizure. Sure it is. Have you seen Pokemon? What does that have anything to do with it? That caused seizures. What? That caused oh. seizures. What causes seizures? Pokemon. How? There, there was a flashing Porygon episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but whatever. I'll no, try to only go right as best I can. You know what's messed up, though? Because I've worked with, oh. um... Good job. Uh, someone who I used to work with had, um, has seizures. Or, you know, had... It wasn't, like, a serious case where, like, if was blinking lights or anything like that, where, like, it was, like, a... It was a mild version of epilepsy, but she could still get seizures. But it was kind of messed up of what, like, what we, uh, said, because we are at work. And it's, we're basically, it was a fast food joint, so we had to be, you know, fast paced and everything, we couldn't like stop for anything. So yeah, you can't stop for, uh, for a seizure, but if, they said, if she has a seizure, just roll her on her side, and just get, and continue working, like, wow, that's messed up. I mean, yeah, obviously call 911, and call her mother, but, you know, in the long run, just roll her on her side and continue working, so just leave her on the floor while she's like shaking and having a seizure. Because that shit is serious. Oh, we're back in Alderaan. Yep. Isn't it nice? Not Alderaan, Endor, Endor, I'm sorry. Alderaan was the planet that was actually destroyed by the Death Star. So what's up with Princess Leia fucking kissing her brother or whatever? She didn't know it was a brother. And what happened after she found out? They just waved it off like it was nothing. <laughs> and you knew? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm from Alder- I'm from Alderaan. It's kind of like the south- the, the, the south of the- the south of, you know, the galaxy. <laughs> Uh, really if upset. that was me, I would have been. I would have done like a spit take. <laughs> it's really upsetting about what happened to Carrie Fisher, the How? actor actress who played um, uh, uh, Princess Leia. How'd that happen? She did, had a heart attack. Oh, it's upsetting. How, How old? She was sixty, I think. Yep. Yeah, she was. I think she was sixty. She just recently died. As even more upsetting, her mother died like two days later or something, or a day well, later. Don't feel too bad about it. They're probably no, they're it's... they're in a better. Hopefully, they're yeah, in a better no, place. They're, they're in a, <laughs> no, that's what she said. Like, what was her last words? Her, her, what her mother said. She says, "Just let me die. I want to be with my daughter." I was saying, "That's just, oh my god, that's fucking terrible." And it's not happened, terrible. No, yeah. it's just terrible. The idea that actually happened in the first place. That what? First off, Carrie Fisher. Why did she? Dude, die? people die. Yeah, but at sixty, come on. I mean, yeah, it happens, but Jesus. It's fucked up, man. But at I mean, least they're it's, in a better it's, place. It's, 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 it's just upsetting. Uh, you it's know, I wish is. I could say... When they say, at but least you know they're what in it a... Is? When they, people happens. say... When people say, at least they're in a better place. How do you know? What if they're burning? <laughs> anyway. That shit sucks. Anyway. I I'm... touched the stove once. Now I'm mentally retarded. I think you were already mentally re retarded. By touching the stove. So what? What's your point now? You're just trying to get. You're just trying to beat the game as Donkey Kong. Well, I want to beat the bosses as DK. What's the point? So it shows up as the DK icon on the map. You're fucking weird. Yeah. You are aware we already fucked it up in the beginning of the level when I was playing as Donkey Diddy Kong. No, I meant the big map. We'll see. Anyway. But yeah, Carrie Fisher, she uh, passed away two days later, her mother did, so it's very upsetting. And that's- this all happened in 2016, so it's basically like saying like, Oh my god, this fucking year. 2016 is just... Fucking sucks, we lost so many, so See? many people. DK, 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 DK. Joe, we lost so many people in 2016, and you know what's even more upsetting? You know none of them. 
Yeah, so it doesn't really bother me. If, if they're in a better place, then good for them. If they're burning in hell, I can't help it. Oh, okay. That, that, that's pretty much the I premise. Mean, I don't know who they are. They don't affect me. Kind of an ass. They don't affect me. I mean, they don't affect me either. I'm just saying it's just really upsetting that they died. I mean, fucking David Bowie was a fucking genius and an artist. That... It was David Bowie. Oh, Christ. He was the, he's a singer. He was also the Goblin King in Labyrinth, which you've never seen. What's that? Labyrinth is a movie. Okay. It's a movie where Jim Hansen went wrong. I bullshit you not, Jim Hansen did go wrong. What Jim Hansen did was he created, uh, weird puppets that were goblins. Uh-huh. But it was really funny and cool, and they had basically had David Bowie make the soundtrack and was basically the Goblin King in the whole entire movie. But it was oh, good. I, I, I enjoyed the movie. And then who else died? Alan Rickman. He was the bad guy in, um, in Die Hard, which you saw. I only know Alan Rickman because of Family Guy in the voice messaging system. Yeah. A lot of people. George Michaels. I, I, I can't name them all because we lost so many in 2016. And, and everyone's like saying, Jesus Christ, let this year fucking end already because we're losing too many good people. We had like a couple of days left. And it was Stanley's birthday. I think it was uh, December 28th. And everyone's like saying, Quick, hide Stanley! <laughs> we got a couple of days left because... That dude is 94 years old, and he probably... Look, I don't want to say this, but he probably already has one leg in the grave already. But you cannot take Stanley at all. That, that dude will last forever. That dude is the math... You know who Stanley is. Who? Oh. oh my god, why are we friends? Because you don't have a choice. Stanley is the creator of Marvel Comics. He creates all those awesome, awesome Marvel movies. Iron Man, Captain America, The Avengers, Hulk, Thor, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't really know many Spider-Man. I know of them, I just don't watch them. Or you should them. watch them, because they are really good movies. I don't care about superhero stuff. I care about superhero hedgehogs and Saiyans. You know, there's more to life than superhero hedgehog Saiyans. And Donkey Kong. <laughs> Seriously, you should definitely watch more movies aside from fucking. Uh, uh, no, because they suck. Oh, how do you know they suck? Because they don't pertain to what they should. They should. Meaning? Why is the roll button not working? Because the movies don't portray what they are supposed to portray as comics or whatever. Yes, I do. Every Marvel movie does. No, they're they, too toned down. No, they, they change it up because it's a different universe. That's stupid. No, it's not. Because in the comic books, there's multiple universes as well. That's even more stupid. Just have one universe. They do. No. The movies have their one universe. No, just have one and be done with it. It's stupid enough that Sonic is in three universes right now. Yeah, you'll get used to that, because that's going to be like in 10 universes, and that's when you're going to start hating Sonic, so... <laughs> oh, I only focus on the game universe. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before in previous episodes. Um, that we blew somebody's mind at um, Spencer's. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this. Yeah, and they legitly walked out while they were on shift. <laughs> we were in Spencer's, and I was tell telling a story about how the fact that why we have Sonic Boom was because... After Sonic Generations, when uh, Dr. Robotnik actually broke the space, actually broke the space and time continuum by going back in the past and actually breaking the, the the time flow, actually being stuck inside this time phase that was all white and everything with his older with his younger self, he basically trying to trying to fix all that actually broke it even more and destroyed the space destroyed the space time continuum, which actually led to a post apocalyptic air post apocalyptic war post-apocalyptic post world that we now know as Sonic Boom. And when I mentioned this out loud, we were just walking by and mentioned it just talking about this. When I mentioned this out loud and Spencer's, some guy that was just putting stuff away is like going, "Holy shit. That was just Oh god, my mind is just blown." Oh man. Oh, I was like saying, "You okay, dude?" I I I, I don't know. It's okay. I mean, you, I mean, you're probably leaving here in a couple of minutes, right? Because I mean, your shift's almost over. It's like, no, we're, we're staying here until so and so time. Like, oh, oh, dude, I am so sorry. Yeah, it's, it's um, I, I, I gotta get out of here. I, I just gotta go. And it was I'm, funny. We saw he, him he leaving. He legit left. Like, 
Holy shit, we just really fucked this day up. Like, that's it. That's a wrap. Sonic Boom, the reason you got fired. <laughs> oh, man. But that's a legit reason that the fact that why we have Sonic Boom is a post-apocalyptic uh, world due to the fact that Dr. Robotnik broke the space-time space -time continuum. And now we have how many universes of Sonic 3? Yeah, there's the comic universe, there's the game universe, and there's the boom universe. And there's also the the, the, uh, the, the, the the cartoon universe. There's not really a cartoon. Yes, there is. The old cartoon. Oh, there's also the Sonic Boom cartoon. Yeah, but those are... Then there's also the old cartoon where it's like, Snooping as usual, I see. That was like one of those cartoons where like, shit would happen, but then it would be fine next week. <laughs> We'll see you next week when shit is actually back to normal. You know what I want to watch? On? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I really want to watch? I want to watch the tip. He bit my ass! And I just went through the platform somehow. <laughs> I feel- no, honestly, I felt like that you purposely went through the platform because- How do I purposely go through- tell me, how do I purposely go through the platform? <laughs> Easy. You press down on the D-pad and you and yeah. like- Yeah, look, 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 I'm pressing down, I'm pressing down. And you down. materialize down like you did in, uh, uh, uh Super Smash This Smash isn't Smash. Mario where I go- <laughs> Anyway, I want to watch The Tick, the, uh, the old cartoon, uh, The Tick. I don't know why, I just said that, like, because I think it's because w where I was watching Robotnik meets The Tick. I think that's why I want to watch The Tick now, but I want to watch the whole fucking series of it. Uh-huh. The crime-fighting vehicles, an important part of the superhero patrol. Ours is equipped with the map light. Convenient and essential, the map light and- Oh, Arthur, look! The map light! Show me the map light, Arthur. I wonder, what would happen if, like... Could, could... Diddy Kong use his tail as, like, a potential, like, dildo? Are, are tails good enough for that, or no? Yay, yay. They're, they're a bone. I think they're, they're a bone structure. Hmm. I mean... I don't know. Uh-oh. I mean, you know what I'm trying to think of right now? I'm actually trying to think of Asian porn tentacle porn. The tentacles are not bones, the tentacles are muscle. Like our penises, our penises are muscle. I know, it's weird hearing the word penis coming out of my mouth. Oh, man. I mean, if it was. When you say <laughs> the penis is muscle, I'm thinking of like a flexing arm penis. <laughs> With mine? Yeah, it's more like Schwarzenegger going. <laughs> <laughs> well, and like your fucking balls are doing the, the titty dance. <laughs> My balls are doing the, the pecs dance. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean, I know what you mean. The, the Terry Croup titty dance. Oh man. Oh, I love him in White Chicks. <laughs> Terry Croup? Where is he's on LSD and dancing. It wasn't on LSD, it was on Ecstasy. S whatever. LSD is a- Similar drug, alright? Not at all. Ecstasy basically get does not make you hallucinate, it just gets you really fucking horny. I thought it makes you happy. It makes you horny, basically. You get like turned on by like the littlest things. Like I you need to fuck this Care Bear. You ever seen uh, uh remember uh, Bad Boys Two, where he's on ecstasy? He's like, you ever just just rub your leather? You ever just rub your leather? I I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember Bad Boys Two? No, I remember the, the him being like, wow, the mice fuck just like us. Yeah, that was that was Bad Boys Two. Yeah, that's all I remember from. And near it. the end, he was, uh, he accidentally takes the ecstasy because he was drinking water and the pill went inside the other cup, but he didn't notice. And when he takes it, he's just like all, you know, loopy and like, just like all happy. Yeah, he was happy. And he's all bugged out and drugged. <laughs> I and got shot in the ass, man. What happened? Who shot you in there? You! No, that, that's not ecstasy moment. That was the beginning of the movie. I know. We gotta watch that movie again. And then I found out he couldn't get a boner from it. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that sucks. Well, he actually gets a boner after he takes the ecstasy. It's like, Mike, I got an erection! Take me home! Call my wife! Tell her I'm on the way! <laughs> that's funny. But that's like the best scene in the movie where he's uh, on the ecstasy. He goes in the house. Even though the audience can't see me. Oh! You got a nice house! More like a Ving Von Vo... Vo... Von Sway! Yeah! You got a Von Sway home! Then he's just like all fucking drugged out and everything, just going, I talked to Vargas and, uh, Root Reyes! They sent it down for whatever. This is a nice fish. You know, big fucking eyes, but a nice fucking fish. <laughs> I do not remember that movie. Or at least that scene. Because I was like 10. Really? You were 10 years old when that movie came out? I don't know. I'm when did to... it come out? I don't remember. I was young. 
Uh, what was the other ecstasy moment? Oh, Terry Crew when he was on ecstasy, where he just like being like, "Oh, this is my jam. I gotta hit this. Oh, hold the dog. Hold the dog." And you just see him on the dance floor, just like shirtless, going. <laughs> Can you do the whistle to it or no? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the twisties with the um, the, with the oh. uh, the, the glow sticks. So this is one of the hardest water levels. Check Why? this out. Holy shit, this water is all fucked up. And just for anyone who ever is having trouble, just go to the left. You'll be fine. It'll help you out. I don't know if I say that. Just go to the left, and you'll be like, a, like you're, you know what you remind me of? You remind me of a doctor that you'll just put um, <laughs> a doctor that's gonna give a, a person an X-ray. So. It puts the person on the uh, on the table, and then get, puts the person on the table, give them the lead vest and everything, goes behind the brick wall and says it to them like, You'll be fine. Get the fuck back here, you piece of shit. I'm just swimming over there. I, I see some tuna. Bitch. Oh, damn, we're 16 minutes in. Yeah, had you not, I'm trying to end the fucking episode. You're like, no, I want to continue doing this. I'm going to do this. I'm but because I'm having fun. You know what? You know what? Hang on, hang on. There we go. DK's like, hmm? <laughs> you see what's over there? Oh, I see what's over there. I'm getting pissed on underneath me. What did he? What, what did Diddy's he say? like, you know, hopefully this guy doesn't take a crap. And water? I, it wouldn't matter much. And water? <laughs> well, that water's pretty fucked up anyway. Yeah, this is the poison pond. Oh, I was not reading at all. Next all right. time on the non cooperate Cooperators, I'm sorry. I've been doing a little bit too much non. Next time on the cooperators, we're going to continue with some more Donkey Kong. So. You're fired. <laughs> You're not fired. Who are you, Donald Trump? No. I'm Kim Cattrall. <laughs> I don't know, it's Donald Trump's like. Donald Trump apparently wants to own the line, You're fired. Like, what the fuck? You can't own that because you don't own shit. He owns Trump Tower. And now. If I build a pillow fort and I'm like, I, I, I own this. Yeah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> You know what? I'm going to build a pillow fort. Next time on the Cooperators, we're going to continue with some more Donkey Kong Country. We'll see you next time. We're gonna reach from the sky.